This video was sponsored by Hawkeye Shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, what's good? My name is Reed. I am Reed Farid or whatever you like to call me. I'm a certified idiot, a VFX artist, and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. You're watching VFX with Reed, a series on this channel where I take the Hollywood effects and break them down into simpler bits for you the one at home to be able to understand. Today's tutorial is a little bit different. That's because I finally had a tutorial request from someone and let's take a look at it. Well, the request was from Broken Big FX, and he said, Hi, you end a new sub. Next request is Benny's intro studio, like the one he uses for voiceover, googly eyes. Keep up the good content. I'm loving it with an angled bracket and three. I think that's kind of like a memo or what? Well, as you can already see, I'm inside the studio which I created, and I think I'm never going to change the studio again until I model a different one or I get a different idea to make a better one. But for the meantime, I'm going to be using this studio. So without any further, I do let's just jump right into it briefly the softwares we are going to be using are about five we are going to use cinema 4d and corona renderer first second we go into photoshop then we go into adobe after effects and bring it back into premiere pro to do a little bit of refining just before we jump right into the tutorial i'd like to tell you that i've created a new account on buy me a coffee link in the description all you just need to do is buy me a coffee for at least five dollars and become my patron what would you get when you become my patron basically nothing much project files to all my tutorials most of my asset files and getting a chance to dive into my creative process or even getting the chance to control my youtube channel the contents that come onto it and maybe some part of my personal life these project files are not going to be posted for you guys they're going to be posted on a telegram channel that i created mainly for my patreons but just to help you guys i'm going to post the render that i made so you guys can do whatever you want with it so without any further ado let's just jump right into cinema 4d and start the modeling well so the first thing was to go to university of youtube to find something to juice my brain so i typed how to create benny studio because someone on my channel requested for it and i have no freaking idea and the results on youtube weren't really satisfying so turns out i had to do it myself it all started with a cube obviously that's the first thing i have to start when i'm modeling something cubish inside cinema 4d so I just had to start with the cube and then did some kind of cut cut subdivisions then some kind of pushing extrude extrude out and extrude inner had to duplicate a lot more cubes and so many other things i had to take a lot of references from benny's videos not just one video a lot of videos well to save time i didn't have to model a lot of compartments i just had to make just two compartments and use a cloner to clone it like maybe four times just to create eight compartments that's as simple as abc and that makes me a genius it's not really something genius -y, but it it makes me a little bit genius because everybody would have thought of that but someone would have liked to differentiate between all of them but who would even take time to see all those lights and think they're the same so I just had to do it that way then when it came to the materializing or the texturing i had to create purple lights and all i just had to do was create a material with no diffuse and a little bit of reflection with the glossiness down to zero and the fresnel iu or something i don't think i even remember what i did i just had to differentiate between the materials created a new transparent material and even had to add some kind of reflectiveness to it and just applied it to my stuff and so many other things so first the first night i had to model just the studio only without the other studio i mean like the hallway rather leaving the other studio and i just wanted it to render for the whole night and it it killed me when i woke up holy shit four hours just for one frame and an hour just for one frame with an animation of 200 frames that's what you get when you use a 16 gigabyte ram with no graphics card and an i5 computer thank you so i finally decided to throw away the animation process and i just had to finish modeling before i will now think about animation so i just decided to start modeling the other part of the studio that's where the voiceover is going to take place which was basically the same thing it was just made of cubes and splines and so so many other things i had a radio lying down which i modeled when i was a beginner so i just picked it tweaked with the materials a little bit and put it right inside the studio so it can also serve as the speakers inside benny's studio 
why should you waste your time sitting down watching me model something that i'm not even going to teach you how to do it if we can talk about today's sponsor well if you really don't have anything doing let's just jump right in and talk about today's sponsor well today's sponsor is hawkeye shots a photography company which is situated in ghana specifically takwa they deal in mostly event shoots portraits and even videography Frankly speaking, I haven't tried Hawkeye shots, but I've had a lot of reviews from people who have shot with Hawkeye shots and what they say is extremely splendid. Well, I don't think after seeing all these photographs which have been shot by Hawkeye shots, you would even want to change like a different photograph or something. Just head on to the first link in the description where I've left their number, their Instagram page and anyhow you can do to contact them. So you can just um flaunt yourself on your social media handles with their beautiful and adorable photographs back to the tutorial and we are back again into the tutorial and the modeling still continues like this really gave me a lot of headache i utilized about eight hours just to model benny studio benny how do you do this do you really use envato elements or i don't even understand that guy is something else um really really serious the guy is a beast he's not a human being let's investigate bro i just can't believe i was using node editors like bro the guy who was afraid of using node editors in 2020 or no in the beginning of 2021 when i started 3d modeling i was using node editors bro what the f nah i'm not saying that word but but like <sighs> oh my god oh my god oh my god well so it was time for rendering and since i had already had this one hour something i was afraid to render so i asked on a group page who can help me to render some kind of an animation and the prices that they were giving were too high for for each standard so i had to check online for a render farm well i know my keywords were a little bit stupid but i just wanted the most like affordable render farm i can get but even if i had the render farm i didn't even have a credit card to pay so i was just doing it for doing sake so it was up to me and my lovely baby to um do the animation then hmm <laughs> baby are you ready well so my girlfriend who is my pc didn't really clash actually she rendered till i was finally satisfied and i just decided to stop the render so instead of going into after effects to do all this foolish post processing and giving me a lot of passing times and some kind of breakages i just decided to do the post processing in photoshop before i then go into after effects so i just had to pick one image send it into adobe photoshop create an action and just do whatever the f i wanted to do to the picture and then stop the action and played it so it kind of affected all the frames like as easy as abc you know i'm not really that much of an idiot like my brain really works a little bit you guys know right same thing i had to do for my building which i downloaded from unsplash this time not pexels because the image i was looking for wasn't really on pexels i found this on unsplash link in the description so you can go check it out it's a free website where you can get stock images enough of the blabbering let's just jump right into adobe after effects and start with this compositing well i first started by creating the voiceover which was very simple should i go over this nah i'm not going over this i'm just going to fast forward it just in case nah i think i'm going to be creating it inside my after effects 101 masterclass so you guys should anticipate but in case you really want to know how to create it that fast i'll be leaving a link in the description to one of justin odisho's tutorials where he talks in depth about how to create an audio visualizer like how i created mine simple well, so the first thing obviously was to import the footage that I had already post processed in Photoshop as a PNG sequence and then create a new composition from the selection. A whole lot of crazy ideas came into my head like 3D tracking the footage, going to export the camera data from Cinema 4D and bringing it in just to make sure that my voiceover and my screen look 3D-ish inside my scene. And all of them didn't really work. So after seven hours of brainstorming i finally came up with the idea of making them 2d but creating opaci i'm very sorry for that stupid grammatical error please hold on as the proper english boy takes over the stage well so the idea which came was very simple it was to create a shape in the form of that billboard or the screen that you see right there 
and then right clicking and creating a pre-comp so everything which will appear on the screen will be sent into the pre-comp and will be made as an alpha mat of that shape so it doesn't appear in the video like outside the screen inside the main composition obviously you have to make sure that your background inside the pre-comp that you created of the shape it should be black so you can change the blending mode inside the main composition to screen to remove all the black edges and make sure that it enters into the violet or any color which appears there for the light rays it was very simple to do i just created a new solid and made it white then reduce the opacity change the blending mode to screen and then mask out some kind of light rays triangular way and added some directional blur and then i was done simple and obviously you had to add some opacity keyframes to the light rays so they can also kind of have a transition into the composition so obviously i had to now import the voiceover again create a new mask on a duplicate of the main render file that's the lamp and the table a little bit of the table just to create the illusion that my voiceover is behind the lamp and behind the table too so i had to make the voiceover 3d and rotate it in the y space and even the z space a little bit just to create the illusion that it's a little bit slanted inside the composition there so without any further ado again i just had to create some rotation keyframes and some opacity keyframes just to make them not come into the composition like isakaba or not to make them kind of vanish just right into the composition but create a little bit smooth transition entering inside the composition so basically that was the end of it but in case i just wanted to add some kind of finishing touches i went to youtube had some glitches came and added them at random places then after rendering i then sent it into premiere pro and then i just had to um do some sound design no color correction because my color correction was already done in photoshop and obviously i was finally done i had something like this but you already saw it in the intro but let's just play it again ladies and gentlemen what well thank you for clicking on this thumbnail to watch this video thank you for watching till this part of the video if you really like my content i guess you can just hit the like button so the youtube algorithm can recommend my videos to other people or you can hit the subscribe button just if you like my overall content in case you think i'm worth your dollar you can buy me a coffee link in the description you can follow me on instagram at little pop studios facebook the same handles whatsapp link in the description till next week get some creative ideas and make it real i just hope i see you in my next video